These are the soil blocks, which actually grow better than being in the plastic trays. I prefer the soil blocks myself. And so we, we start off with the um, planting them in, uh, and I don't think of some right here. So we start them off in these trays here. And remember I was saying about planting seeds and weeds. So there's there are weeds that are growing in between the seeds. So you have to know which is which. So you prick out. And this is what it's called, prick out. You prick out the actual plant and you transplant it into your packs like this, your soil blocks, or your trays. And then, so then what we do is we water them. We have um, Brittany, which is the, um, she is in control of the greenhouse. She makes sure that everything is watered. The farm manager and assistant, they make sure if there's any um, bugs or anything like that, we make sure that um, the mean is applied, the fertilizers are applied, um, and then come Saturday, all of this will be gone because there's a hot crop distribution that's going to be Thursday and Saturday where the members of the Garden Resource Program come and get their stuff and they plant it in their own garden as a way of providing fresh food for them. So, and everything is completely organic. We don't use any chemicals. And most of these tomatoes are heirloom tomatoes. Yesterday we had a group of um, students, organic farmers from Michigan State. Um, and then we have some, we have professors that come in and they, yeah, they basically look through it. Well, we've been doing this so long that, um, you know, it, it works. And, you know, we just do what works. And it is organic. We do get inspected. Um, to make sure that we're doing everything fine with the organic All the time, generally, you know, we've to be able to manage these on their own. Not me. <laughs> right, Not right. Me. Our group collectively. Yeah, we have a farm manager, we have an assistant manager, we have uh, like 20 other people that work also in addition to volunteers.